Chapters 1 through 6 of the Book of Numbers from the World English Bible. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Joseph Langley. The Book of Numbers from the World English Bible. Chapters 1 through 6. Chapter 1. Yahweh spoke to Moses in the wilderness of Sinai, in the tent of meeting, on the first day of the second month, in the second year after they had come out of the land of Egypt, saying, Take a census of all the congregation of the children of Israel, by their families, by their fathers' houses, according to the number of the names, every male one by one, from twenty years old and upward, all who are able to go out to war in Israel. You and Aaron shall number them by their divisions. With you there shall be a man of every tribe, every one head of his father's house. These are the names of the men who shall stand with you. Of Reuben, Elazar, the son of Shadair. Of Simeon, Shalumiel, the son of Jerishadai. Of Judah, Nation, the son of Amminadab. Of Issachar, Nathaniel, the son of Zuar of Zebulun, Eliab the son of Helon, of the children of Joseph, of Ephraim, Elishema the son of Amahud, of Manasseh, Gamaliel the son of Pedazur, of Benjamin, Abadan the son of Gideoni, of Dan, Ahiezer the son of Amishadai, of Asher, Pagiel, the son of Ochran, of Gad, Eliasaph, the son of Duel, of Naphtali, Ahira, the son of Enon. These are those who were called of the congregation, the princes of the tribes of their fathers. They were the heads of the thousands of Israel. Moses and Aaron took these men who were mentioned by name. They assembled all the congregation together in the first day of the second month, and they declared their ancestry by their families by their fathers' houses, according to the number of the names, from twenty years old and upward, one by one. As Yahweh commanded Moses, so he numbered them in the wilderness of Sinai. The children of Reuben, Israel's firstborn, their generations by their families, by their fathers' houses, according to the number of the names, one by one, every male from twenty years old and upward, all who were able to go out to war, those who were numbered of them, of the tribe of Reuben, were forty-six thousand five hundred. Of the children of Simeon, their generations, by their families, by their fathers' houses, those who were numbered of it, according to the number of the names, one by one, every male from twenty years old and upward, all who were able to go out to war, those who were numbered of them, of the tribe of Simeon, were fifty-nine thousand three hundred. Of the children of Gad, their generations, by their families, by their fathers' houses, according to the number of the names, from twenty years old and upward, all who were able to go out to war, those who were numbered of them of the tribe of Gad, were forty-five thousand six hundred fifty. Of the children of Judah, their generations by their families, by their fathers' houses, according to the number of the names, from twenty years old and upward, all who were able to go out to war, those who were numbered of them of the tribe of Judah, were sixty-four thousand six hundred. Of the children of Issachar, their generations by their families, by their fathers' houses, according to the number of the names, from twenty years old and upward, all who were able to go out to war, those who were numbered of them, of the tribe of Issachar, were fifty-four thousand four hundred. Of the children of Zebulun, their generations by their families, by their fathers' houses, according to the number of the names, from twenty years old and upward, all who were able to go out to war, those who were numbered of them, of the tribe of Zebulun, were fifty-seven thousand four hundred. Of the children of Joseph, of the children of Ephraim, their generations, by their families, by their fathers' houses, according to the number of the names, from twenty years old and upward, all who were able to go out to war, those who were numbered of them, of the tribe of Ephraim, were forty thousand five hundred. Of the children of Manasseh, their generations, by their families, by their fathers' houses, according to the number of the names, from twenty years old and upward, all who were able to go out to war, those who were numbered of them of the tribe of Manasseh, were thirty-two thousand two hundred. 
of the children of Benjamin, their generations by their families, by their fathers' houses, according to the number of the names, from twenty years old and upward, all who were able to go out to war, those who were numbered of them, of the tribe of Benjamin, were thirty-five thousand four hundred. Of the children of Dan, their generations, by their families, by their fathers' houses, according to the number of the names, from twenty years old and upward, all who were able to go forth to war, those who were numbered of them, of the tribe of Dan, were sixty-two thousand seven hundred. Of the children of Asher, their generations by their families, by their fathers' houses, according to the number of the names, from twenty years old and upward, all who were able to go forth to war, those who were numbered of them, of the tribe of Asher, were forty-one thousand five hundred. Of the children of Naphtali, their generations by their families, by their fathers' houses, according to the number of the names, from twenty years old and upward, all who were able to go forth to war, those who were numbered of them, of the tribe of Naphtali, were fifty-three thousand four hundred. These are those who were numbered, whom Moses and Aaron numbered, and the princes of Israel, being twelve men. They were each one for his father's house. So all those who were numbered of the children of Israel by their father's houses, from twenty years old and upward, all who were able to go out to war in Israel, even all those who were numbered were six hundred three thousand five hundred fifty. But the Levites, after the tribe of their fathers, were not numbered among them. For Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying, only the tribe of Levi you shall not number, neither shall you take a census of them among the children of Israel. But appoint the Levites over the tabernacle of the testimony, and over all its furnishings, and over all that belongs to it. They shall carry the tabernacle, and all its furnishings, and they shall take care of it, and shall encamp around it. When the tabernacle is to move, the Levites shall take it down, and when the tabernacle is to be set up, the Levites shall set it up. The stranger who comes near shall be put to death. The children of Israel shall pitch their tents, every man by his own camp, and every man by his own standard, according to their divisions. But the Levites shall encamp around the tabernacle of the testimony, that there may be no wrath on the congregation of the children of Israel. And the Levites shall be responsible for the tabernacle of the testimony. Thus the children of Israel did, according to all that Yahweh commanded Moses, so they did. Chapter 2 Yahweh spoke to Moses and to Aaron, saying, The children of Israel shall encamp every man by his own standard with the banners of their fathers' houses. At a distance from the tent of meeting shall they encamp around it. Those who encamp on the east side toward the sunrise shall be of the standard of the camp of Judah, according to their divisions. And the prince of the children of Judah shall be Nashon, the son of Amenadab, his division and those who were numbered of them were seventy-four thousand six hundred. Those who would encamp next to him shall be the tribe of Issachar, and the prince of the children of Issachar shall be Nathaniel, the son of Zuar. His division and those who were numbered of it were fifty-four thousand four hundred. The tribe of Zebulun and the prince of the children of Zebulun shall be Eliab, the son of Helon. His division and those who were numbered of it were fifty-seven thousand four hundred. All who were numbered of the camp of Judah were one hundred eighty-six thousand four hundred, according to their divisions. They shall set out first. On the south side shall be the standard of the camp of Reuben, according to their divisions. The prince of the children of Reuben shall be Eleazar, the son of Shedeir. His division and those who were numbered of it were forty-six thousand five hundred. Those who encamp next to him shall be the tribe of Simeon. The prince of the children of Simeon shall be Shalumiel, the son of Zerishadai. His division, and those who were numbered of them, were fifty-nine thousand three hundred. The tribe of Gad, and the prince of the children of Gad, shall be Eliasaph, the son of Ruiel. His division, and those who were numbered of them, were forty-five thousand six hundred fifty. All who were numbered of the camp of Reuben, were one hundred fifty one thousand four hundred fifty. According to their armies, they shall set out second. Then the tent of meeting shall set out, with the camp of the Levites in the midst of the camps. As they encamp, so shall they set out, every man in his place by their standards. On the west side shall be the standard of the camp of Ephraim, according to their divisions, and the prince of the children of Ephraim shall be Elishamah, 
the son of Amahud. His division, and those who were numbered of them, were forty thousand five hundred. Next to him shall be the tribe of Manasseh, and the prince of the children of Manasseh shall be Gamaliel, the son of Pedazur. His division, and those who were numbered of them, were thirty-two thousand two hundred. The tribe of Benjamin, and the prince of the children of Benjamin, shall be Abadan, the son of Gideoni. His army, and those who were numbered of them, were thirty-five thousand four hundred. All who were numbered of the camp of Ephraim were one hundred eight thousand one hundred, according to their divisions. They shall set out third. On the north side shall be the standard of the camp of Dan, according to their divisions, and the prince of the children of Dan shall be Ahazer, the son of Amishadai. His division and those who were numbered of them were sixty-two thousand seven hundred. Those who encamp next to him shall be the tribe of Asher, and the prince of the children of Asher shall be Pajael, the son of Akron. His division and those who were numbered of them were forty-one thousand five hundred. The tribe of Naphtali, and the prince of the children of Naphtali, shall be Ahira, the son of Enon. His division and those who were numbered of them were fifty-three thousand four hundred. All who were numbered of the camp of Dan were one hundred fifty-seven thousand six hundred. They shall set out last by their standards. These are those who were numbered of the children of Israel by their fathers' houses. All who were numbered of the camps according to their armies were six hundred three thousand five hundred fifty. But the Levites were not numbered among the children of Israel, as Yahweh commanded Moses. Thus the children of Israel did, according to all that Yahweh commanded Moses. So they encamped by their standards, and so they set out, every one by their families, according to their fathers' houses. Chapter 3 now this is the history of the generations of Aaron and Moses in the day that Yahweh spoke with Moses in Mount Sinai. These are the names of the sons of Aaron, Nadab the firstborn, and Abihu, Eleazar, and Ithamar. These are the names of the sons of Aaron, the priests who were anointed, whom he consecrated to minister in the priest's office. Nadab and Abihu died before Yahweh when they offered strange fire before Yahweh, in the wilderness of Sinai, and they had no children. Eleazar and Ithamar ministered in the priest's office in the presence of Aaron their father. Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying, Bring the tribe of Levi near, and set them before Aaron the priest, that they may minister to him. They shall keep his requirements and the requirements of the whole congregation before the tent of meeting, to do the service of the tabernacle. They shall keep all the furnishings of the tent of meeting, and the obligations of the children of Israel, to do the service of the tabernacle. You shall give the Levites to Aaron and to his sons. They are wholly given to him on behalf of the children of Israel. You shall appoint Aaron and his sons, and they shall keep their priesthood. The stranger who comes near shall be put to death. Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying, Behold, I have taken the Levites from among the children of Israel, instead of all the firstborn who open the womb among the children of Israel. And the Levites shall be mine, for all the firstborn are mine. On the day that I struck down all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, I made holy to me all the firstborn in Israel, both man and animal. They shall be mine, I am Yahweh. Yahweh spoke to Moses in the wilderness of Sinai, saying, Count the children of Levi by their fathers' houses, by their families. You shall count every male from a month old and upward. Moses numbered them according to the word of Yahweh as he was commanded. These were the sons of Levi by their names, Gershon and Kohath and Merari. These are the names of the sons of Gershon by their families, Libni and Shimei. The sons of Kohath by their families, Amram and Izhar, Hebron and Uzael. The sons of Merari by their families, Mahli and Mushi. These are the families of the Levites, according to their fathers' houses. Of Gershon was the family of the Libnites, and the family of the Shemaites. These are the families of the Gershonites. Those who were numbered of them, according to the number of all the males from a month old and upward, even those who were numbered of them were seven thousand five hundred. The families of the Gershonites shall camp behind the tabernacle westward. The prince of the fathers' houses of the Gershonites shall be Eliasaph, the son of Lael. The duty of the sons of Gershon in the tent of meeting shall be the tabernacle and the tent, its covering, and the screen for the door of the tent of meeting, 
and the hangings of the court, and the screen for the door of the court, which is by the tabernacle and around the altar, and its cords for all of its service. Of Kohath was the family of the Amramites, and the family of the Israelites, and the family of the Hebronites, and the family of the Uzaelites. These are the families of the Kohathites. According to the number of all the males, from a month old and upward, there were eight thousand six hundred keeping the requirements of the sanctuary. The families of the sons of Kohath shall encamp on the south side of the tabernacle. The prince of the father's house of the families of the Kohathites shall be Elizaphan, the son of Uziel. Their duty shall be the ark, the table, the lampstand, the altars, the vessels of the sanctuary with which they minister, and the screen in all its service. Eleazar, the son of Aaron, the priest, shall be prince of the princes of the Levites, with the oversight of those who keep the requirements of the sanctuary. Of Merari was the family of the Malites, and the family of the Mushites. These were the families of Merari. Those who were numbered of them, according to the number of all the males, from a month old and upward, were six thousand two hundred. The prince of the father's house, of the families of Merari, was Zuriel the son of Abihail, they shall encamp on the north side of the tabernacle. The appointed duty of the sons of Merari shall be the tabernacle's boards, its bars, its pillars, its sockets, all its instruments, all its service, the pillars of the court around it, their sockets, their pins, and their cords. Those who encamp before the tabernacle eastward, in front of the tent of meeting toward the sunrise, shall be Moses and Aaron and his sons, keeping the requirements of the sanctuary for the duty of the children of Israel. The stranger who comes near shall be put to death. All who were numbered of the Levites, whom Moses and Aaron numbered at the commandment of Yahweh, by their families, all the males from a month old and upward, were twenty-two thousand. Yahweh said to Moses, Number all the firstborn males of the children of Israel from a month old and upward, and take the number of their names. You shall take the Levites for me, I am Yahweh, instead of all the firstborn among the children of Israel and the livestock of the Levites, instead of all the firstborn among the livestock of the children of Israel. Moses numbered, as Yahweh commanded him, all the firstborn among the children of Israel, all the firstborn males, according to the number of names, from a month old and upward, of those who were numbered of them, were twenty-two thousand two hundred seventy-three. Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying, Take the Levites, instead of all the firstborn among the children of Israel, and the livestock of the Levites, instead of their livestock, and the Levites shall be mine, I am Yahweh. For the redemption of the two hundred seventy-three of the firstborn of the children of Israel, who exceed the number of the Levites, you shall take five shekels apiece for each one. After the shekel of the sanctuary you shall take them, the shekel is twenty geras, and you shall give the money, with which their remainder is redeemed, to Aaron and his sons. Moses took the redemption money from those who exceeded the number of those who were redeemed by the Levites, from the firstborn of the children of Israel he took the money, one thousand three hundred sixty-five shekels, after the shekel of the sanctuary, and Moses gave the redemption money to Aaron and to his sons, according to the word of Yahweh, as Yahweh commanded Moses. Chapter 4 Yahweh spoke to Moses and to Aaron, saying, Take a census of the sons of Koath from among the sons of Levi, by their families, by their fathers' houses, from thirty years old and upward, even until fifty years old, all who enter into the service, to do the work in the tent of meeting. This is the service of the sons of Kohath in the tent of meeting, the most holy things. When the camp moves forward, Aaron shall go in and his sons, and they shall take down the veil of the screen, and cover the ark of the testimony with it, and shall put a covering of sealskin on it, and shall spread over it a cloth all of blue, and shall put in its poles. On the table of showbread they shall spread a blue cloth, and put on it the dishes, the spoons, the bowls, and the cups with which to pour out, and the continual bread shall be on it. They shall spread on them a scarlet cloth, and cover the same with a covering of sealskin, and shall put in its poles. They shall take a blue cloth, and cover the lampstand of the light, and its lamps, and its snuffers, and its snuff dishes, and all its oil vessels, with which they minister to it. They shall put it and all its vessels within a covering of sealskin, and shall put it on the frame. 
On the golden altar they shall spread a blue cloth, and cover it with a covering of sealskin, and shall put in its poles. They shall take all the vessels of ministry, with which they minister in the sanctuary, and put them in a blue cloth, and cover them with a covering of sealskin, and shall put them on the frame. They shall take away the ashes from the altar, and spread a purple cloth on it. They shall put on it all its vessels, with which they minister about it, the fire pans, the flesh hooks, the shovels, and the basins, all the vessels of the altar, and they shall spread on it a covering of sealskin, and put in its poles. When Aaron and his sons have finished covering the sanctuary, and all the furniture of the sanctuary, as the camp moves forward, after that the sons of Kohath shall come to carry it, but they shall not touch the sanctuary, lest they die. These things are the burden of the sons of Kohath in the tent of meeting. The duty of Eleazar, the son of Aaron, the priest, shall be the oil for the light, the sweet incense, the continual meal offering, and the anointing oil, the requirements of all the tabernacle, and of all that is in it, the sanctuary, and its furnishings. Yahweh spoke to Moses and to Aaron, saying, Don't cut off the tribe of the families of the Kohathites from among the Levites, but thus do to them that they may live and not die when they approach to the most holy things. Aaron and his son shall go in, and appoint them every one to his service and to his burden. But they shall not go in to see the sanctuary even for a moment, lest they die. Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying, Take a census of the sons of Gershon also, by their fathers' houses, by their families. You shall count them from thirty years old and upward until fifty years old, all who enter in to wait on the service, to do the work in the tent of meeting. This is the service of the families of the Gershonites. In serving and in bearing burdens, they shall carry the curtains of the tabernacle, and the tent of meeting, its coverings, and the covering of sealskin that is above on it, and the screen for the door of the tent of meeting, and the hangings of the court, and the screen for the door of the gate of the court, which is by the tabernacle and around the altar, and their cords and all the instruments of their service, and whatever shall be done with them. Therein shall they serve. At the commandment of Aaron and his sons shall be all the service of the sons of the Gershonites, in all their burden and in all their service, and you should appoint their duty to them in all their responsibilities. This is the service of the families of the sons of the Gershonites in the tent of meeting, and their duty shall be under the hand of Ithamar, the son of Aaron the priest. As for the sons of Merari, you shall number them by their families, by their fathers' houses. You shall count them from thirty years old and upward even to fifty years old, every one who enters on the service, to do the work of the tent of meeting. This is the duty of their burden, according to all their service in the tent of meeting, the tabernacle's boards, its bars, its pillars, its sockets and the pillars of the court around it, and their sockets and their pins and their cords, with all their instruments and with all their service and by name you shall appoint the instruments of the duty of their burden. This is the service of the families of the sons of Merari, according to all their service in the tent of meeting under the hand of Ithamar, the son of Aaron the priest. Moses and Aaron and the princes of the congregation numbered the sons of the Kohathites by their families and by their fathers' houses from thirty years old and upward even to fifty years old, every one who entered into the service for work in the tent of meeting, those who were numbered of them by their families, were two thousand seven hundred fifty. These are those who were numbered of the families of the Kohathites, all who served in the tent of meeting, who Moses and Aaron numbered according to the commandment of Yahweh by Moses. Those who were numbered of the sons of Gershon, their families, and by their father's houses, from thirty years old and upward, even to fifty years old, every one who entered into the service for work in the tent of meeting, even those who were numbered of them, by their families, by their father's houses, were two thousand six hundred thirty. These are those who were numbered of the families of the sons of Gershon, all who served in the tent of meeting, whom Moses and Aaron numbered according to the commandment of Yahweh. Those who were numbered of the families of the sons of Merari, by their families, by their fathers' houses, from thirty years old and upward even to fifty years old, every one who entered into the service for work in the tent of meeting, even those who were numbered of them by their families, were three thousand two hundred. These are those who were numbered of the families of the sons of Merari, whom Moses and Aaron numbered according to the commandment of Yahweh by Moses. 
all those who were numbered of the Levites, whom Moses and Aaron and the princes of Israel numbered, by their families and by their fathers' houses, from thirty years old and upward even to fifty years old, every one who entered in to do the work of service, and the work of bearing burdens in the tent of meeting, even those who were numbered of them were eight thousand five hundred eighty. According to the commandment of Yahweh they were numbered by Moses, every one according to his service, and according to his burden. Thus they were numbered by him, as Yahweh commanded Moses. Chapter 5 Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying, Command the children of Israel that they put out of the camp every leper and every one who has an issue, and whoever is unclean by the dead. Both you shall put male and female outside of the camp, that they not defile their camp in the midst of which I dwell. The children of Israel did so, and put them outside of the camp, as Yahweh spoke to Moses, so did the children of Israel. Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to the children of Israel. When a man or woman commits any sin that men commit, so as to trespass against Yahweh, and that soul is guilty, then he shall confess his sin which he has done, and he shall make restitution for his guilt in full, and add to it the fifth part of it, and give it to him in respect of whom he has been guilty. But if the man has no kinsman to whom restitution may be made for the guilt, the restitution for guilt which is made to Yahweh shall be the priest's, besides the ram of the atonement by which atonement shall be made for him. Every heave offering of all the holy things of the children of Israel which they present to the priest shall be his, every man's holy things shall be his, whatever any man gives the priest it shall be his. Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to the children of Israel, and tell them, If any man's wife goes astray, and is unfaithful to him, and a man lies with her carnally, and it is hidden from the eyes of her husband, and is kept close, and she is defiled, and there is no witness against her, and she isn't taken in the act, and the spirit of jealousy comes on him, and he is jealous of his wife, and she is defiled, or if the spirit of jealousy comes on him, and he is jealous of his wife, and she isn't defiled, then the man bring his wife to the priest, and shall bring her offering for her, the tenth part of an ephah of barley meal. He shall pour no oil on it, nor put frankincense on it, for it is a meal offering of jealousy, a meal offering of memorial, bringing iniquity to memory. The priest shall bring her near, and set her before Yahweh. And the priest shall take holy water in an earthen vessel, and of the dust that is on the floor of the tabernacle the priest shall take and put it into the water. The priest shall set the woman before Yahweh, and let the hair of the woman's head go loose, and put the meal offering of memorial in her hands, which is the meal offering of jealousy. The priest shall have in his hand the water of bitterness that brings a curse. The priest shall cause her to swear, and shall tell the woman, If no man has lain with you, and if you haven't gone aside to uncleanliness, being unto your husband, be free from this water of bitterness that brings a curse. But if you have gone astray, being unto your husband, and if you are defiled, and some man has lain with you besides your husband, then the priest shall cause the woman to swear with the oath of cursing, and the priest shall tell the woman, Yahweh make you a curse and an oath among your people, when Yahweh allows your thigh to fall away and your body to swell. And this water that brings a curse will go into your bowels and make your body swell and your thigh fall away. The woman shall say, Amen, Amen. The priest shall write these curses in a book, and he shall blot them out into the water of bitterness. He shall make the woman drink the water of bitterness that causes the curse, and the water that causes the curse shall enter into her and become bitter. The priest shall take the meal offering of jealousy out of the woman's hand, and shall wave the meal offering before Yahweh, and bring it to the altar. The priest shall take a handful of the meal offering as its memorial, and burn it on the altar, and afterward shall make the woman drink the water. When he has made her drink the water, then it shall happen, if she is defiled, and has committed a trespass against her husband, that the water that causes the curse will enter into her and become bitter, and her body will swell, and her thigh will fall away, and the woman will be a curse among her people. If the woman isn't defiled but is clean, then she shall be free, and shall conceive seed. This is the law of jealousy, when a wife, being under her husband, goes astray and is defiled, or when the spirit of jealousy comes on a man, and he is jealous of his wife, then he shall set the woman before Yahweh, and the priest shall execute on her all this law. 
the man shall be free from iniquity, and that woman shall bear her iniquity. Chapter 6 Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to the children of Israel, and tell them, When either man or woman shall make a special vow, the vow of a Nazarite, to separate himself to Yahweh, he shall separate himself from wine and strong drink. He shall drink no vinegar of wine, or vinegar of fermented drink. Neither shall he drink any juice of grapes, nor eat fresh grapes or dried. All the day of his separation he shall eat nothing that is made of the grapevine, from the seeds even to the skins. All the days of his vow of separation no razor shall come on his head, until the days are fulfilled, in which he separates himself to Yahweh. He shall be holy. He shall let the locks of his hair of his head grow long. All the days that he separates himself to Yahweh he shall not go near a dead body. He shall not make himself unclean for his father, or for his mother, for his brother, or for his sister, when they die, because his separation to God is on his head. All the days of his separation he is holy to Yahweh. If any man dies very suddenly beside him, and he defiles the head of his separation, then he shall shave his head in the day of his cleansing. On the seventh day he shall shave it. On the eighth day he shall bring two turtle doves, or two young pigeons, to the priest, to the door of the tent of meeting. The priest shall offer one for a sin offering, and the other for a burnt offering, and make atonement for him, because he sinned by reason of the dead, and shall make his head holy that same day. He shall separate to Yahweh the days of his separation, and shall bring a male lamb a year old for a trespass offering, but the former days shall be void, because his separation was defiled. This is the law of the Nazarite. When the days of his separation are fulfilled, he shall be brought to the door of the tent of meeting, and he shall offer his offering to Yahweh, one male lamb a year old without blemish for a burnt offering, and one ewe lamb a year old without blemish for a sin offering, and one ram without blemish for a peace offering, and a basket of unleavened bread, cakes of fine flour mixed with oil, and unleavened wafers anointed with oil, and their meal offering, and their drink offerings. The priest shall present them before Yahweh, and shall offer his sin offering and his burnt offering. He shall offer the ram for a sacrifice of peace offerings to Yahweh, with the basket of unleavened bread. The priest shall offer also its meal offering and its drink offering. The Nazarite shall shave the head of his separation at the door of the tent of meeting, and shall take the hair of the head of his separation, and put it on the fire which is under the sacrifice of peace offerings. The priest shall take the boiled shoulder of the ram, and one unleavened cake out of the basket, and one unleavened wafer, and shall put them on the hands of the Nazarite, after he has shaved the head of his separation, and the priest shall wave them for a wave offering before Yahweh. This is holy for the priest, together with the breast that is waved, and the thigh that is offered. After that the Nazarite may drink wine. This is the law of the Nazarite who vows, and of his offering to Yahweh for his separation, besides that which he is able to get. According to his vow which he vows, so must he do after the law of his separation. Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to Aaron and to his sons, saying, This is how you shall bless the children of Israel. You shall tell them, Yahweh bless you and keep you. Yahweh make his face to shine on you and be gracious to you. Yahweh lift up his face toward you and give you peace. So they shall put my name on the children of Israel, and I will bless them. End of chapters 1 through 6. Recording by Joseph Langley, Alexandria, Virginia, November 2008.